morning everybody. We're here at Derwent Dam, we're going to have a bike round today, we'll come on the bike. We'll have a bike round the uh, reservoirs. There's an event on here yesterday and there's still the marquees and everything behind us. Kind of doing the view, but hopefully later on they'll be gone, we'll come back at the end and uh, have a look to see if they're gone. Oh, what's this little uh, stone then? In commemoration of the devotion of Tip, the sheepdog which stayed by the body of her dead master, Mr. Joseph Tagg, on the Howden Moors for 15 weeks from the 12th of December 1953 to the 27th of March 1954. Some dog. Go bump bump here. So we started out there, went down as we, as we saw. We're now heading towards Howden Dam, which is through the trees up here. So we're heading on the road round towards that. Five or ten minutes, we shall be there, I think. So I assume Birchin Lee Village was somewhere around here. I'm going to put it all around this hole here, if I can move the bike. That tells us more than that. Yeah, the village is obviously here. Where are we then? Is there a sign that says where we are? I can't see it. These are all the workmen's huts, greengrocer's shop, cobblers, hairdressers, I'm all sorts. To the shop. You want to go to the greengrocer's shop? Yeah. It's not here anymore. It used to be just here somewhere. It all used to be around here. I like going this fast. <laughs> you tell me if it's too fast. Lots of water flowing down the hillside. Right, so you can't really see Howden the reservoir very well from this side. We're on top of it. As you can just about tell on there, it's a bit sun's a bit bright. Some fantastic autumnal colours in the trees over there, yellows, greens, browns. And all the trees are the Yeah, that's coming to autumn. Look at them all different colours. There's some more cyclists on the other side, look, that's where we're heading. Of us. I think we'll be going round it soon. I'm coming up to a gate, so I think I might have to put the camera away to open the gate. Stop. I'm that way. Brakes are on. Ah. That says no camping and no fires. So, right away slippery stones. Got a bit of a steep hill. <laughs> it's impossible to pedal. So Dad is pushing me up. I'm pushing him up. So we get to the top and hopefully we can roll down the other side again, eh? Yeah. Roll. Well, at the top. Roly poly. I'm not roly poly. <laughs> Roll down on the bike wheels. So we keep going past these little blue signs. 
say how many kilometres we've done. I think they're from the car park. This one says eight kilometres. It's not focusing very well, is it? There we go. This one says eight kilometres, so I think we've done 8k. So we're doing well. back on top of the Howden Dam. It's quite a long bike ride around the back of there. I think we enjoyed it, didn't we, mate? Apart from a little cold fingers for someone. Let's see if we can get some good views of this then on the other side. Lots of these uh, warning signs for cyclists. Right then. That's this one, cyclists, slow down, respect other users, so that's fine, we'll do that. So, can we get down lower near it or not? I don't know if we can actually. Maybe we can't. I'll have a look at it from here then, shall we? Ah. Going over the Howden Dam, isn't there? Right, and no sooner are we back above the Derwent Dam. So we'll nip down and have a look at this one because we know we can get in from this one, see if the tents are cleared. Probably have something to eat. I didn't even realise. Oh, it's alright, I thought he was asleep. Someone's, someone's dozing. So while he's dozing, I'm going to carry on. So we can get to the plug holes. Almost hard to believe there's a village buried under there, isn't it? So this is where I was stood, give or take, probably about six months ago when I took this film. A little bit different now, I think you'll agree. Yeah, good hole number one, the other one's over the other side. Head over to in a minute. Perfect score. Down there is obviously where all the water comes out. to have a sandwich soon now I think aren't we Bertie? Yeah. I'm going uphill so I'm gonna have to put the camera down hang on. Why are your low fingers stop you? Brakes? Yeah. Yep we've been using the brakes to stop us haven't we and stop running into people. Why? 
I don't want to run over people, do I? Alright, let's carry on back to people. Can shoot Again, we just stopped to admire the yellows and browns and oranges in the trees. The autumnal colours. We've got a bit of drizzle in the air at the minute. It's not heavy, thankfully. But hopefully we can get around before it uh, starts to get heavy. It's not forecast too, but... I can't feel it! You can't feel the rain? No. Good. I can. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Right, so I think we've basically been round the trail. We're now going to head back up to the road, and we've probably got three or four miles along the road. Or ten. Of course, Derwent Edge up above here. Done a few walks across there. Not with this one yet. We'll get you up there one day, won't we? Yeah, but I want to go over the back bridge. Well, we're going to go over that bridge in the van when we leave. I'm not going back that way now. My daddy's legs are absolutely in agony. <laughs> There's a memorial there. How quick for that. <laughs> when I left the van, I had to put some air in the tyre. Alarm bells probably should have rung then. It's... I couldn't get over the hill, but it's quite right because the tyre was a bit flat. And looking at it again now, I think it's gone down again a bit. So I think we've got a bit of a slow puncher in there, which has not made things easy. Plus there's a bit of weight on the back that I've got called Bertie. Yeah. Yeah. But we're nearly there. Let's get this last stretch and then we'll get back to the, get to the cafe and get ourselves a drink. And then go and have a last look at that dam before we set off. One mile to go. Alright, so the, uh, the marquee is still here. We've dumped the bike in the van. Bert has got a hot dog. I think it slowed down a bit from earlier actually. I don't think there's as much water coming over as there was when we were here earlier on. So there it is. So that was our little bike ride. Ended up being 22 miles. Um, that was hard going, especially with a bit of a flat, a uh, bit of a uh, slow punch on the wheel. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather stick to uh, two feet in the future rather than two wheels. Not, not my idea of fun. But uh, so we started at Fairhaven. We bike round Howden, sorry, past Derwent Dam up to Howden's Dam, right round the uh, Howden's Reservoir, back past the Derwent Reservoir, past the Lady Bower, up to the Plug Holes, uh, and then around the rest of Lady Bower as well. I'll put the map on of the entire loop that we've done. Someone's trousers are falling down. Pull them up. Pull them up, man. Look at you now, you'll fall over. I think we both prefer to be on a feet than on a bike. You can't get a bike as close to the dam as we've just been on feet. So it's good to finish on a feet and... Good job I've put two pairs of trousers on him today, innit? Right, hang on a minute. I can't do it with one hand. So... Round the three, da uh, three reservoirs, past two dams, past the plug holes, everything overflowing. 
great, great, great viewing, great to see. Um, I think they're pulled up, kind of, you might have to pull them up a bit more. No. It's been a bit cold on the bike, Bertie's been a bit cold on the bike. But have you enjoyed it? Yeah, he says the zoom ones off. So that is it, thank you for watching today. We're off home to get warm. Pull them up, man! And watch the football. We'll see you again next time. Say bye bye, Bertie. Bye, pants! Yeah. So, yeah, let's go. Au revoir.